Welcome to another episode of Legion Elite Motorsports. I'm your host Isaiah, and today we're gonna do a good wellness check. All right, so let's dive in. Okay, so today we have a wellness check. We have a '89 SHP automatic Starion. And this is a nice wrap. Did a pretty good job. I like it, not bad. So basically this is a wellness check. So basically what we're gonna be looking for is a couple of different items. We have a checklist of things that is troubling the owner. So one of which is uh, after the car has been running for a while, and let's say you go into a store and come back out, it's hard to start. Okay, so we're gonna be cleaning injectors today um, and then seeing if the issue gets better. Um, and then also uh, another common problem, which uh, everybody, no one should ever be left out on this one. Um, when you put gas in the car, it pours out from the bottom. I'm gonna show you exactly where and why that happens in this episode. So that, um, we have high idle, we have eh, just a couple different things. Um, we're gonna change the oil, we're gonna take it for a drive, we're gonna make sure everything is where it needs to be. So let's take a look at the engine. Okay. So this engine is rebuilt. It has about, I wanna say 25 to 28,000 miles on this rebuilt engine. Um, so, you know, not too bad. Uh, it does have a balancer shaft elimination kit on it. Um, we don't have a blow off valve, so it's still running like a factory car. Um, we're going to fix this pipe. It's about to pop out. Um, also, we're missing the electronic wastegate that uh, goes right over here. And that guy. And this is an 89 uh, thing only, uh, where it has an electronic uh, wastegate actuator valve. But this wastegate has been replaced with a single uh, nipple unit. The 89 has three nipples. So uh, basically that's been changed. Um, so yeah, uh, I wanna see if we can uh, go ahead and check for customer complaints of a power steering leak. So yeah, we're gonna take a look at the power steering pump also. Um, we have a two and a half inch downpipe, um, aftermarket cooling lines instead of the original uh, uh, metal lines, and uh, aftermarket feed line instead of the original hard line, which is also a great upgrade. Keeps uh, the line from cracking and spraying oil everywhere. Sort of a fire hazard. Um, then after that, and also, I want to see if they have a gasket uh, for this get, uh, glass. Um, good luck trying to find the original one, but they do sell sort of a universal one. I want to see if they might have something like that, Visa AutoZone or something like that. Um, but yeah, uh, factory sunroof car. And uh, yeah, that's another one of the things that is on the list. All right, so on the inside, um, the contact to push the button up 
is a little a little messed up on that one um so we're not necessarily gonna um repair this but we are gonna take a look at it i'm gonna pop it up and then see if the contacts are worn out or can be adjusted so we're gonna do that everything else in here is nice and factory and original so yeah let's get started first thing i wanted to show you guys is the fill neck issue so when you fill up the car and it starts pouring out the bottom and this is a very common issue it is this hose right here so you see the hose right there the fill neck is behind it and it just pours out right in this area. You can see the drips of gas when you're filling up the car. So um, I'm gonna see if they have this locally, but normally what I do is I uh, order order this offline, but um, we actually don't have that type of time. So I'm gonna see what I can find locally. So, Remember, if you have that issue, make sure you change this piece, okay? Take off these screws, there's actually three of them. So two down here, two 10 millimeters. Then there's one up top, which you should be able to reach, and then just pull the hose off, you know? These are two 10 millimeter there, 10 millimeter there, and change it all out. So we're also gonna, gonna do that too. We're gonna see if we can go to a local uh, part store to see if they have that. They should, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so I think I wanna tackle this first. So we're gonna take these two 10 millimeters off. <laughs> And then we're gonna pull these back. Then we're gonna take this off and the inner hose off. And I'm gonna take this down. I wanna see if I could uh, source that out. Uh, you know, get measurements and make sure everything is what it's supposed to be and kind of take it from there. So, alrighty, get my tools. There's one. All right, and there's two. So, alrighty, bend these out of the way. They're pretty resilient, so you can bend them and they'll go right back to where you had it originally. All right. Grab this again. All right, that one's definitely loose. Then we got one in here where I can't use this tool specifically but it is right here. So I'll probably use a hand wrench and yeah, get this out. It is that simple. Okay, so the old hose is out pretty much in a destructive manner. It ended up raining, but um, it's okay. We do have a replacement hose and clamps, mind you. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so here we have it, two inch inner diameter and new clamps, say the size here. So that's perfect. And basically what we'll do is uh, we're gonna lubricate the boot to make sure that it slides into place. 
And then once it slides into place, we can tighten up the clamps. So how you wanna put it in is you wanna collapse the hose, squeeze it into place, open it back up like so, and then put it on. And same deal on this side, just collapse the hose, slide it on, and uh, put your clamps on first. So as soon as you collapse it, I'd say put it towards the tank side first, then put your two clamps on, collapse this side, and put the hose in. Then you can go ahead and rotate your clamps to a nice comfortable position that you can reach it and tighten it up. That's it. So, putting it on, it's a little bit more simple. So basically once you uh, further disassemble, okay, so you're gonna take out one, two, and three screws of the fender liner here. It'll give you access to, hold on, let me see if you can see it. The two screws, um, up there we go, right there. So you get those two screws right there and out the way so there's one screw above this tube you see right here it's a little dark I do apologize let me see if I can get the light on hold on there we go so there's a screw right up top here you can use a 10 millimeter wrench to get to it. Then you can pull this tube back to put on your clamps and your new couplers. Then you push everything forward, button these two screws up here, back up. And then while you're down here, you could change this hose if you want. It is, I wanna say half inch. And um, you know, you could change it, but this one's good. So we're gonna leave it there. Um, but yeah, and then that's it. You put everything back together and boom, all done. So I'm gonna have the customer fill up his car with gas and see if it leaks because that silicone coupler can be adjusted. You lubricate it to slide it in and out, but the optimal length would be three and a half inches, give or take, three and a half, call it four inches long, and then you can cut it down if need be and take it from there. Okay, so we have fixed the uh, clamp there. Everything looks good there. Um, we are going to tend to the horn probably a little bit later. Um, also, we're going to change the oil right now. So we're going to see, you know, what the oil looks like, if there's any metal shavings. The owner has told me that um, uh, at some duration, someone who uh, changed the oil actually found metal shavings in this motor. So hopefully it was old residue from the previous engine. Either way, we're going to change. We're going to take a look. Okay. So, whew, a little tired, but let's see. Let's get this drain plug off there and see what we got. All right. Besides it being dark, can't really tell anything just yet. So we're gonna let this drain out and then we're going to pull it out and 
take a look, but seems to be okay. Pan is dirty, so can't really tell. But we'll take a look. All right. Extremely dirty, but I don't see any metal shavings, so that's a good thing. But, um, yeah, not bad, not bad. Uh, needs to change the oil more frequently. It is very dark. So, yeah. Not too bad, but still dark. So, yep, that's not too bad. Okay, so we took out the cross, well, not crossover pipe, but um, intercooler pipe to get to the oil filter. All right. So, let's see if I can twist this thing. Leverage was not the name of the game, especially from this angle. So, let me see if I can reach it from the bottom, so I will be back. Okay, filter is out. Good filter um, and everything, but uh, as you can see, it was a bit of trouble getting out. So, <sighs> I wanna say hand tight is really all you need. I don't think a tool is necessary to put the filter back on unless uh, you got some enemies, I guess. But yeah, so anyway, um, yeah, so this is out. We're gonna pop in the new one, fill it up with oil, and we're gonna clean up our mess because quite a bit of oil from my arms and everything got all over the place, including all over the shield. So yeah, that's, that's how tough it was. I had to get two hands in there. And even that wasn't enough, so I had to uh, resort to some primitive methods to get it out. But anyway, long story short, we're going to do that. And then next, what we're going to do is pop out those injectors and run them. Let's see what they do. Okay, top hat is out to uh, factory uh, Phillips or flathead. It has both cut out into it. Um, when you take this apart, you want to push and twist, not just put a flat head in there and twist it. You'll strip it. So, uh, got that out, and now it's time to test the injectors. Okay, first thing we're going to do is pressure test it to make sure the injectors are not dripping or leaking any, any way, shape, or sort. So, here we go. Okay, that's good. All right, let's go ahead and do a slow flow. Those are definitely perfect. Oh yeah, that's looking good. All right, let's step it up a bit. Good. All right. Looks good. Bump up the pressure. She is, she's alive. So 
sounding good, running good. We're gonna let her get up to operating temperature and then we're going to drive off. All right. Okay, we are off. She's in drive. And AC is icy cold. And I gotta tell you, this is uh, this is the most comfort I've ever had in a uh, Starion. That's pretty interesting. Hmm. It's almost uh, unsettling. So. And with that being said, we're going to call it an episode right there. Uh, everything on that car turned out perfect. Uh, beautiful car. Runs excellent. Um, but yes, we're going to do a little bit more work on it uh, next episode. So stay tuned. And if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing if this is the type of content you like to watch. Uh, also, remember guys, knowledge is power. I'll see you next time.